closer to home. Being pharaoh, it's an extremely powerful position. You're close to the gods. This actually makes it quite a, an enviable position. So I think probably the biggest threat to pharaoh will come from within. In Luxor, archaeologist Rebecca Bradshaw searches for evidence of the resulting power struggle over the greatest kingdom of the ancient world. This is part of the inside of Medinet Habu, which is Ramses III's mortuary temple. We can see this long line of Ramses III's sons here, which obviously is very important. A pharaohs attending to show themselves having many kids and therefore many potential sons to take over when they died. However, if something happened to the crown prince, what would happen then? The answer has long thought to have been key to unlocking the secret behind the fall of a once all-powerful dynasty. The exciting thing about something like Egyptology is that even though we have all of this data, all of this science, that mystery still linger. There was a slow uh, change in climate, thus making traditional pastoral uh, ways of life far more difficult for people the population becomes divided between the food producing groups and the non-food producing groups. And what we see with the non-food producing groups is that they become artisans, professional builders. So they have a surplus of food. And this is the point at which we start seeing things that we might call civilization. The Kingdom of Kerma and Egypt seem to have had what you might call a difficult relationship. At this point, the Egyptians were writing of, of Nubia as vile Kush. So we know there was certainly a lot of venom from the Egyptian side. What we see is Tutmosis going very determinedly to the south, and he sacks the city of Kerma. To sack the capital city of this kingdom was truly a feat. The Nubians were well-known warriors and fighters. There are stories of thousands of captured uh, prisoners of war being executed in a variety of different ways. For a long time, the idea that iron could be smelted uh, in sub-Saharan Africa was completely dismissed. <laughs> 